What is up guys? My name is Mark Samaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog. Alright, my goal today is to actually finish my e buggy So I'm picking up exactly where I left off from the last video. That last video. I'll rewatch that last video and uh you could tell I was really tired at the end of that last video. Sorry about that. It was it was already late. I think it was probably I'm around my house it's late. It was like eleven thirty already. And it was, um, everyone was asleep, so I was kind of, I was a little fatigued. But today, I'm going to get done. That's my goal, at least, to get done. So if I can get done today, tomorrow I can take electronics out, swap them out, and put them in my e-buggy. And then I should be ready to go on Saturday. So hopefully that's not going to be bad. Uh, before I get started... I just thought, so what's weird about my vlogs is you're, they're going to be a little delayed. So you're pro this this vlog in particular is probably not going to release until maybe a week after I film it. So obviously that's because I record and then I have release times when I release the video. So sorry that they're not like up to date real time. But today was actually the day that uh, Ryan Lutz announced his departure from Techno. That's a big deal. Um, Ryan Lutz is... He, I don't know if you remember but... I did a video not that long ago about how much pro drivers get paid and I said something along the lines of there's not very many real big drivers. There's really, to me, there's two huge drivers and Adam Drake is one of them and Ryan Lutz is the other. And when I say huge, I'm not talking about speed, I'm talking about huge in regards to impact they make in the RC community and that was a tough loss. But I will say I was very, very impressed with how professional, and, and granted these are professionals, how professional they handled it, um, the press release from Techno, and they, they parted in really good ways, and um, I'm, I'm happy for Ryan, I'm sure he's going to find somewhere else really cool, and he's a cool guy in general, it's not like he's not going to help anyone else that has, runs Techno or ran Techno before, so that's big news, so I'm going to probably do another, actually you know what, I don't know if I'm going to do a vlog on kind of giving more thoughts on that. There's a lot of people that are uh, commenting about who's go, where he's going, and and uh, where he's going, and just what what happened. I don't know. I don't know his contract just ended. I, I, honestly, I got <laughs> I got nothing, guys. Uh, where I think I can tell you where I think he's going. I think he's um, the obvious place where people think he's going. He's going to S Works. I think he's personally going to Agama. I don't know that for sure. But I know Ogama's making moves, and it's kind of a coincidence that Ryan left. And it'd be a good, it could be a good place for him. So th those, that's why, that's where I think he's going. And again, he's probably gonna announce where he's going after this video releases, or before this video releases. So you guys probably think I'm cheating, but I'm not. I'm not cheating. Today's date is the twentieth. So you heard it here first. It's December twentieth, Thursday, December twentieth. I think he's gonna go Ogama. Could be wrong. We'll see. So, all right. Let me get to work, guys. I got a lot of work to do. So, I'm on bag J. So, let's get to work. <laughs>
pretty much done. Uh, it's about the stopping point I had last time. It's about 11 o'clock. So all I really have to do right now is mount the electronics. So I, I went ahead, you guys didn't see this time last part, but this is morning. I went ahead and put this side of the, of the or basically the battery tray on. Um, still no hiccups. There weren't any weird quirks or pieces that didn't screw in right. No, no problems at all. The only thing I will say is I didn't remember these emulsion shocks. Obviously I ran it a long time ago, but these emulsion shocks are new to me. There's a little itty bitty washer, not a washer, but an O-ring that goes on the emulsion shock screw, the cap screw. And it was kind of a pain to get in. But what's even more of a pain to get in is the little O-ring to go inside the shock cap. It just takes a little bit of working, but you can get it. Um, but I will say, whenever you got it all together, it went together really snug, and you can tell that it's not going to leak. So, other than that, another amazing build. I didn't think, I, like, there were no extra screws, no missing screws, nothing. I mean, there were really, truly no hiccups. And obviously, it was just my first time getting that, that O-ring on the, the uh, motion cap screw. So that was probably the only reason why it was hard. The, the easiest way I found to do it is you actually have, it's a really, really, really small O-ring. So you actually, I actually put it down on the paper towel and then kind of screwed the screw into the O-ring. And then to get it all the way, or uh, yeah, onto the O-ring. And then to get it all the way on the screw, I actually screwed it into the cap to push it all the way back. And then I took it back out so the, the O-ring was on the screw. And then the, uh, the O-rings that go inside the shock caps, Again, they wanted to kind of come out if you pushed them in. You really just have to work it, try to get it into the O-ring groove, but it ended up working. Again, these are problems, not really, I wouldn't even say they're problems. They're just quirks that I've experienced because that's the first time I've done that. But other than that, again, another amazing build. I'm trying to think of anything crazy that I ran into, and there really isn't anything. Everything came together perfect. Oh, I did... So I did do some hop-ups. I, I did set up everything stock in regards to oils. I even used the Techno Oil. So I went ahead and just wanted to start stock. So I got a good starting starting base. Starting base? Does that even make sense? A good starting point. And then I will start making adjustments from there once I get on the track. But I did put the titanium nitride shock shafts on it. Those are like little brass gold looking look late guys I'm telling you I'm already I'm already kind of uh, kind of losing it anyways it's the brass gold looking ones I put went ahead and put those on I ordered them because I wanted stronger shock shafts so since I went ahead and ordered them I went ahead and put them on but I will keep these as spares just in case I've been to shock shaft but again freaking awesome so tomorrow all I have to do is put my electronics on I didn't take any of the stuff out of the package for the electronic stuff but first, before I put electronics on, I actually have to take the electronics out of my old e-buggy. And then I'm going to put it on the setup bench, and you guys will see all that. And I should be ready to go. I'm super stoked. So, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and you guys will see me. Turn on the notification bell. Now like, subscribe, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.